guys. <laughs> yeah, right. Welcome to Coco DIYs, bringing you the best tips, tricks, and tutorials to make having fun affordable. And in today's video, we are doing a resin product review. I got this offer of a free product to do a resin product review. So I'm super excited because I actually just ran out of resin. I was offered to review this product for free, so there will be an affiliate link. You can purchase this product on Amazon. It is the Nicro, no. <laughs> it's the Nick Pro Epoxy Crystal Clear Resin. So I will have a link for that in the description. And let's get started. So in this package, it includes a 16 ounce hardener, a 16 ounce of resin, one plastic spreader, two silicone stir sticks, a pair of rubber gloves, two cups, uh, one is 100 milliliters and one is 30, two tablecloths, which I think is awesome, and then five pipette pipettes so that's if you want to um, if you have a smaller project and you need to pipe it into your mold we're gonna evaluate is working time another we're gonna evaluate is the curing time which is how long it um, takes to completely harden and then we're gonna evaluate the clarity we're also gonna evaluate demold time
Okay, so I actually, so we already started our curing time. So I left the middle piece, um, the middle section of the three tier stand clear so we could test the clarity. Um, I did add, as you guys saw, a little bit of white slash, I guess it was like glitter white to the largest tier and then to the top tier. And then since I had some extra, I just kind of did an extra project over there and then another project here. So I'm gonna clean up my workspace. And so far, I mean, with all those projects, um, yeah, like that's how much is left. So, which I think is pretty awesome. So I, demo I demolded the first tier of the cake stand. And I wanted to also, so just so I can evaluate that. And so the demolding process was very easy. All of the times, the work time, curing time, and demolding time were accurate. So that's a perk. I do feel like it demolds. The demold time is quicker. It's eight hours. Typically demolding is 24 hours. And the demold time is when you are okay to take the item out of the mold but not necessarily it's fully cured so the curing time on this is is faster and usually a full curing time is 72 hours but on this product it's only oh my gosh Whew. on this product it's only 24 hours so i thought that was really good um so overall so far before i uh, judge the clarity. I think the kit as a whole has some good perks like I have it came with two tablecloths So I still have that one left over. It is pretty thin. So it's similar to the thickness of like maybe a dollar store Table cover so but you get two of them. So it's I think Excuse me. I think that's pretty good because most kits don't come with table covers and then the gloves are also um, like dollar store quality gloves. But I mean, I think I used maybe like five or six gloves because I had to, I was, you know, making different um, items and I just kept changing my gloves just because I would get stuff on it and I didn't want to, like I had to check my phone. So I didn't want to get, you know, resin on my phone, but I still have like this much glove left over. So I think that's really cool that, I mean, they say two pairs of gloves in on the kit, but obviously they give you more. You are welcome to use your own gloves, but I think it's really nice that they include more than just one pair of gloves in the kit. Then these stir sticks are really cool. A lot of the times you have to use wood stir sticks, but these are, um, these are rubber. These are silicone, so it's easy to peel the resin off of them and reuse them. So I think that's really good to have. And they give you two of these. So it's really good to have because they're very easy to peel the dried resin off and then you can clean it with a wipe and reuse it. So that's really cool. It comes with the spreader, as I said before. And then, um, and then we were going to evaluate clarity. So the clarity on this, this is still in the mold. So the clarity, let's see, let's evaluate this together. So I don't know guys, can you see me? Can you see me? So this one I just did full and it's pretty freaking clear. Like that is like, I mean, it's like looking through glass. It's very, very clear, very, very, um, it's not cloudy clear, you know, some like are kind of cloudy, fuzzy clear. So I like that. I think that's really cool and then this is the one this is the bottom tier that I already demolded so I think the powder the Mika powder that I added to this is really cool it made a cool design and then I'll show you guys how I demolded so when you're demolding you really want to think about like I like to go around if it's a round shape I just like to go around and then separate. So super, super easy. And then the mold, like there's no residue. There's no, it doesn't leave a residue on your molds. It doesn't, 
you know, there's no extra texture. So I like that. I think that's really, really cool. So a couple more pros because this like, I'm telling you, I've worked with a lot of resin and this Nick Pro is like awesome. So I will have it for sure linked in the description below. The other thing I thought was really, really awesome is it's very low on bubbles. So a lot of the times when you're mixing resin, you get, um, you get bubbles from the air and the stirring and everything. So it was very, very low bubbles. Like even though I saw bubbles, they were really, really small, which is good. And then as it was self leveling, because it, this, this resin does also self level, it the bubbles just disappeared so i didn't have to use a heat gun i didn't have to use any kind of fire or heating mechanism to get rid of my bubbles the bubbles you know they were there while i was stirring but i didn't see them once i put them in the mold it was like the buzzle the bubbles just disappeared so that was freaking awesome i will say the stirring time on this is a little higher they recommend three to four minutes so or no sorry they recommend four to six minutes i believe for stirring so usually resin kits will say two to three minutes but I feel like I don't mind stirring an extra minute or two if it means I'm gonna have less bubbles so depends on <laughs> what you want to do um, yeah and then what was the other thing oh the low odor so there was an odor but I did not think the odor was so like it wasn't a harsh odor I mean I'm doing this in my garage and I really feel like the fact that I was doing it in my garage you know is enough ventilation it's a two-car garage so so I feel like that actually I didn't I didn't mind the amount of odor it was oh dope like this is like the coolest thing ever. So um, again, this this mold pack did not come, or mold, yeah, mold set did not come with the resin kit, but I bought this specifically because this kit said it was low odor, odor and food safe. So when I found that out uh, upon getting the email that I got a free product, I, I really wanted to pick a mold that really served both a purpose for using it with food, but then also, you know, it's Coco DIYs, it's events, okay? So I think this is perfect for a very cute cupcake stand. You can put maybe two dozen cupcakes on here or the little um, macaroons. I think it would look really cute. And click on your screen for, uh, <laughs> click on your screen for more event DIYs and I'll see you in the next one.